All right, I've seen the, the the comments. Did you finish the second program? We've not. It's it's super super busy weekend. Haven't been able to do a whole lot on the game, but I wanted to give you guys an update on things where we are, and just talk a few things about the game. Have you played? Nope. Nope. Not really. All right. I'm just gonna be upfront and honest with you guys. It really hasn't happened. Life life gets in the way sometimes, but that's what we're here for. What is going on, MLB family? small update video for you guys here as we finish through the week now i think there's mother's day content coming today for other mother's day reasons i won't be around when that happens All right mother's day noon pacific i'm recording this before then i will not be around okay so come back <laughs> come back and check that out i uh, will check it out maybe we'll cover it on monday who knows uh but just a quick update on where the team is you see the team up there right there is again it's a good team we have a lot of stubs and I feel like stubs, they're obviously what, what you want to have, but I don't truly feel like you need a lot of stubs to do a lot of the stuff in the game. Now, obviously you can get the stubs by playing the game and flipping cards and working the market. It's really, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's a super easy year. And even then we have 476,000 right now. Uh, it could be a lot more. Uh, our inventory has a lot of stuff uh, selling or, or that needs to sell. Again, the program for first inning, not even close to being finished. 48,000 XP. Super far away from all the good rewards, you know? We'll get there, and I'm not worried about it. Uh, I know we're not first, but I know we won't be last, especially getting to this pack right here. For these cards, their prices have obviously, you know, come down a bit between Bay, Lee Smith, Don Manley. Again, that's all cool, right? It's fine. Uh, sometimes it's great to be first. I know I mentioned that before. The quicker you finish programs like this, the, the more the cards are worth. And that should always be someone's goal. If you have the time, if you don't have the time, hey, you know, what? sometimes it's totally okay to just to not worry about it. You just take what you get as play in the game. One of the downsides of finishing these programs really fast is that you don't get to experience any other rewards for the next however long. In this case, 26 more days. It's a long program. It's a long program. You are going to, you're going to get there, but one thing I want to mention, uh, not here, uh, to you guys is everyone is going to be getting these cards, these three cards right here. And they're obviously, you know, people are going to sell them. Some people are going to hold them. I always think the best move, unless you need the card is indeed to sell because eventually things change. We see right here on the market, Fernando Valenzuela, 70,000, Kenny Lofton, 55,000, uh, Mike Piazza, 56,000, right? I want to let you guys know. We bought these cards and we still have these cards, right? I mean, look, we sellable, right? Right? Sellable. Fernando, sellable. Why haven't we collected him for the program? Still sort of deciding. The good thing with these cards is they went way up in value. More than I expected. I thought they would go up a little bit, 10, 20%. They almost doubled. We got all these cards for 29, 30,000 stubs each five days ago something like that midweek not not, not not a long time and they've gone up they would have stayed at thirty thousand. maybe that's worth a fifty thousand xp that you trade in for but here ew, that's tough what do you do like that's a lot of stubs but there are also players that we use in the team right now not always constantly but like piazza he's here lofton He's here. Valenzuela is in the lineup. So all these people are actually on the team. So we can get rid of them and get the stubs. But who do you replace them with right now? That's the tricky question. Because the content, while it's good and we are getting stuff, nothing is really blowing anyone away. Cards that we get in the headliners or the space packs or whatever it may be, while good, it's not going to really drain your stubs as you build up and go through stuff. Again, flip cards. There's a lot, there's a lot of stubs to make. We have some minor investments in place. Uh, that I won't really talk about or show uh, because A, it wasn't my idea, it's someone else's idea. And I don't feel right sharing someone else's idea here, but I know we're a little far behind from where I would have liked to be. The path and the pace that we were on, I wanted to have at least a million stubs uh, by this time, and we don't. So that falls on me a bit. Well, I'm not the in game grinder over here, that's Gus, me. 
I, I'm, I'm the market, play the moments, do all that sort of stuff right now. So that's where we stand. Uh, I, I, I like everything. Now, one thing that I am going to be doing here as well, we see right now there's no exchange here for first inning vouchers and everyone was given a bunch of vouchers. Uh, where is it? Where's it? I always get confused inventory. Everyone was given a bunch of vouchers here, uh, in the thank you pack, right? For season one. Now my hope and idea for me is that there will be exchanges for these vouchers for future vouchers having some sort of value. I don't know if that's going to be the case. It would make sense that it's possibly there because sometimes you get extra votes. I don't know that we got extra ones here. So in the meantime, will we wait for the next team affinity? If I ever hit like a, 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 a spot of boredom, I'm going to go through and do a showdown. A, cause I'm going to earn some XP and B get some vouchers here, which could potentially have value again. I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue on earth, but I get to play the game. I get to earn some XP, get something that could have future value for us. I think they did something last year with voucher exchanges. I don't remember hundred percent, but that's one place where like, eh, I want to be, I want to be prepared and ready to roll through whatever team affinity two is, whatever it is going to be ready for it. Uh, because we're finished with all of that stuff. Uh, the BR rewards finished, uh, for, Right, for the, for this part here, you see it right here, all 100 BR points, bam, done, vents done. So outside of playing seasons, it's just grinding and preparing. So based on that, we're going to open a quick baby, baby, baby packs. I'm going to give you guys baby packs today. I mentioned last video, I was like, has anyone ever pulled the or betters out of these? I talked to him he actually has, uh, of course he has. Of course he has. Uh, I haven't. Uh, but admittedly, I haven't opened nearly as many packs as, as normal. So one thing I want to make sure you guys do when you go through and you open any packs or you get reward packs or whatever it is, uh, at, at that point, scroll through, check the prices on the cards because you may have one of those real rare commons or bronzes or whatever. And then just go like sell that immediately before opening other packs so you don't forget it because value changes constantly in time. You want to make sure you're going to get the top dollar or top stub or whatever it is, right? So we don't have any here. Cool, cool, cool. And again, what will I do? I will go back through. And for the most part, we keep our inventory very, very clean. Sell each and every card, including like the free agency cards. I see this one has a sell now price on it. So I'm obviously not going to quick sell it. I'll go in there. I'll make my extra 70 stubs after tax and all that. That's cool, right? Grechuk's good. Uh, some of the Orioles normally good too. That one, not so much. Just all depends. Uh, but make sure you, you, you follow along and you know these things, right? Again, a lot of people probably quick sell commons, uh, free agents. They sell, they sell. I don't know why they sell, but they do. <laughs> don't lose stubs. Like be smart. Just take a little bit of time. I know it, it feels minuscule based on like how much a stub is really worth. Like one stub really isn't worth a whole lot, but do stuff like that. Right? No worries. No problems whatsoever. Uh, my packs. Well, I feel like I've done a good job making some stubs back from my packs. Generally, I haven't been like super profitable on these. I know some people said we, you should do a pack and track or something. Again, I feel like outside of a big diamond pull, your 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 eighty percent value on packs most of the times anyway. So there's not really a, like that's just what it is. Pack and track would just be a hey, can I pull a diamond? That's all it would fall into. In the past you were able to actually profit out of a lot of cards. I don't really see that now uh, with the way the market is. Uh, there's better ways to make stubs anyway by opening packs. Opening pack is obviously a risk right there. You see we lost. Uh, cost us fifteen thousand. Just based on what I saw, I think we can make ten to twelve back. So that's not too bad. I have no problem with that at all. Uh, a little bit of risk, but I don't like doing too much of it here again, because we're not spending any more money. We spent a little bit of money in the beginning, but there's zero more dollars going in this account. There's no reason for me to risk uh, stubs that we have spent time earning on hoping for a trout pool, open and say 50 packs or whatever. It's just not worth my time. So, and then I got to sell everything. 
uh, takes forever. Uh, that's our update. I can come back for Mother's Day content later on. I don't know exactly what they're going to do. Normally free basket or something along those lines. So not bad. Get, get, get something free. Right. They love giving free stuff. Might as well. Maybe there's another pack or who, who knows what they're going to do. But just keep grinding. Again, if, if you hit a wall, you're not sure what you want to do. Play some of those showdowns. Maybe get some of those extra vouchers. Maybe it pays off. Maybe it doesn't. I'm willing to, to, to risk a little bit of time and potentially save me time down the line. Even if the exchange rate is safe, if it was even five vouchers now for three vouchers later, that's cool because that's going to be really helpful progressing up the line. And if they don't happen, hey, maybe they do something later on. I know that they did that in the past too. So is what it is. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be great. Good luck on your journey on the game. Uh, we, once we get back grinding a little bit harder as we start getting some of these rewards, uh, we'll give you guys some updates. I'm going to start uh, doing some BR and some event games for you guys here uh, once time permits. But Mother's Day weekend, you know how it is. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Be great. I love you guys. And I'm out. Peace.